Welcome back folks, thanks for joining me again. Um, so we're uh, in lockdown and we're going to be going out fishing for next month, six weeks or so. So uh, I've started to restock my fly boxes, or my spares boxes should I say, and um, get the patterns ready for the start of the season and for the return to the waters. Now we really are looking at buzzers, fingers crossed as long as we get out in March, it'd be great. Um, so I'd like to share with you one of my favourite early season buzzer patterns especially on the small waters works just as well on the big waters as well I have many great days everywhere with this uh, and anybody that's been out with me will uh, will have undoubtedly used one of these if we've been out in buzzer season it's the crisp packet buzzer it's just a straightforward black buzzer or it can be a cool bodied one as well with bright orange cheeks and these there you go that's the cool version there um, the killer point on these is of course this bright orange cheeks and what we use for those is crisp packet wrapper the benefit of that is it doesn't lose color when you come to varnish these so let's pop a hook in the vise and we'll just go through this um, in a nice simple easy tie so let's take that one out and pop a hook in the vise uh, hook for this one is a uh, Fesner uh, 310 nymph hook uh, Camus MB175 is just as good. Um, depends what you want to tie for. I'm doing some for my barbless box now. Um, thread for this is uh, Ato Black. Okay, just a normal straightforward Ato Black. And let's just pop this on. It's a lovely, easy to tie fly, this one. And it's one I would re recommend if, you, if you're starting out. A um, few people have messaged me and say that they're going to take advantage of the lockdown and they're going to start to do a bit of fly time. Where would I start? What's the best fly to start with? This is a great one to start with. Gives you all the basics of fly time. So we've caught that thread in now. And what I'm going to do now is also catch the ribbing. This is a medium fine silver wire. Okay, this is going to be your rib. So we'll just pop that on. And we're going to take this thread back down past the bend of the hook to give it a nice buzzer-like profile. This is a good early season buzzer because most of your buzzers you get coming off early season are a darker colour. Um, blacks, very dark olives, and they tend to be big. Okay, your early season buzzers tend to be big, and these are ideal patterns for them. I'm just working back up the hook. What I'm going to do is I'm going to taper this and make a tapered body using the thread. So I'm going to take this two thirds of the way back up and then back down again, two thirds of the way, and so on, so on, so on. So. Uh, I love using them early season. Uh, February, March into April. Um, good when they fish deep, lovely when there's a bit of colour in the water. But the standout for me on these really is the orange cheek. That's the bit the contrast, the bit the fish pick up on and come and have. So there we are. I'm just taping the body up, not down as far this time and back up again. And we're just going to stop there and then come back up again the opposite direction and just rip that up with your wire slightly. Close turns to start with, just opening up as you come up the body. This just gives that lovely segmentation effect that you get on the buzzer. Uh, as I say, you can do this if you want to uh, uh, do this and use Quill instead. That will give you the cool, cool version of this. I'm still yet to be convinced there's a lot of difference in how they fish because, as I say, I think it's that nice bright orange cheek and funnily enough the early season buzzers that you do tend to get coming off on these lakes when you spoon the fish take the buzzer out they have got a very orange cheek to them so it's, yeah that's why we're using it so this is when we're going to tie the cheek material in now and this is as the name would suggest crisp packet okay um uh, tangy cheese doritos other brands are available <laughs> this is the perfect orange color for them okay and all i've done is i've just taken my craft knife and i've cut some little slivers off Okay, nice and easy, just on a chopping board, cut a few slivers off, and we're going to put one of those on either side there for uh, our cheeks. And I want to be tying this in so silver side is out, okay, so the silver side is out. So I'll pop the first one in, just do it on this side, and then the second one in on your side, silver side out. Couldn't be an easier flight to tie this, it's a lovely one to mess around with. There we are, silver side out, just catch it in. Work it back till you've made a reasonable size thorax. That's about where I want that to go, as far back as I want that to go. Oh, that's about that rear, a bit of reflection on there. but And then we're just going to make a thorax. Because we're going to build that up with a thread, just build up a bit of a thorax. Leaving yourself still a bit of space at the end of the, the top of the hook, there near the eye. Because um, that's where you're going to tie off and finish everything off. So you don't want to bulk everything up too far to the top of the eye yet. 
So I'm just building that thorax up. It doesn't have to be massive because we're going to coat this with varnish. It's going to give it a bit more body as well. That's going to do it. Yeah, that'll be fine, just like that. And then bring the thread forward. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bring these. Let me get forward in it. And we're going to bring these cheeks forward and catch them in. So I'm going to do the one on my side first. Lovely. One wrap of thread over just to secure it. Keep attention on your thread all the time. And then your side. Lovely. One wrap of thread over to secure it. Perfect. That looks good to me. And it's just where they want to be. In fact, they could probably be it could probably sit a little bit higher up. So we're just gonna ask it just let it take attention off that thread a little bit. And that sits a bit higher up like that. Yeah, that's nice. That's where it wants to be. So now I'm just going to catch in, secure the uh, uh, the crisp packet, a little wrap in front, and wrap behind, and then we're going to trim this off as close as we can with your scissors. Nice and close. And any bit of excess there, we're just going to cover that over with a bit of thread as we tie in for finishing like that make yourself a nice little head and then come in with your finishing tool and just finish off couldn't be easier but my this really is a very very successful buzzer buzzer pattern catch tons of fish on these as I say good on the small waters very good on cheek bra. I've had many a good day on Grafham early season on these. To finish this fly now, quite simply, uh, you have um, hard as nails. You're going to eventually put three coats on this to give you that nice gloss finish. So your first one you can apply quite liberally because it's going to soak in. That thread will soak a lot of this up. Just try not to get too much into the eye. Just make sure it's all covered. More importantly, actually making any sort of shape. Just make sure that's all covered. That'll all soak in. It really starts to come to life. You get an idea of what that's going to look like. That lovely glossy finish when it, uh, after it's had a few more coats on it. It's that lovely glossy finish on there. And that will really, really take shape. Lovely. Very, very successful buzzer pattern, that is. Uh, and one of my favourites. And I'll be sharing a couple more with you over the next few days or few weeks. I shall stagger these, obviously, I don't want to give you too much to do in one go, but I highly recommend it. If you're looking somewhere to start and a buzzer pattern to have a go at, try it with this and also have a go and have a look at all of my previous videos of how to use quill. And just use quill for a ribbon as well, gives you that slightly different segmented effect, but I find this one to be brilliant. Um, if you like the video, please click like and subscribe, and uh, I shall chat with you soon. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.